Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with another episode of Best Android Apps for 2015. If you have not been through my previous episodes, make sure to check them out. And now, without any further ado, let's get started. The first one here is the issue. With this app, you get a huge collection of magazines, both international as well as local magazines. For example, Essence is our local magazine and Cosmopolitan, as you all know, is an international magazine. And you also get to read all these magazines for free. Here we have the feed. Tapping on any magazine will give you option to mark it as a favorite, add it to your stack, share or flag it. Just tap on the magazine you want to read and while reading, you can browse through the pages by swiping. Pinch in and out to zoom. Pinching in further will give you this page view where you can browse through all the pages of that edition. At the top, you have a clipping tool that allows you to crop any part of the magazine and give a comment on that content or share it. Lower below, you have this related publications so that you can read other magazines related to that topic. You also have a slider menu to explore different categories like tech, music, photography, etc. And you have other options like tracking your activity and so on. So a great app to read magazines for free. The next one here is the Zender. Basically, this app helps you to transfer files from your Android phone to other Android devices as well as to iOS devices and computers by creating a hotspot. Let me just show you how this works. Firstly, Android to Android. Tap here to create a group. So what this does is, it will turn off your Wi-Fi and create a hotspot. Now go on to the other device, join group and select the device. Now both the devices are connected. Here you get the list of apps installed on your phone. You can transfer any of these apps to other Android devices. Select the app and hit send. As simple as that. And let me tell you that the transfer speed is very fast. Similarly, you can send pictures, music, videos and basically any files on your device. You can follow the same method for transferring files to your iOS devices, but you are only limited to photos and videos. To share files between your phone and your PC, tap here and connect to your PC either by giving this address on your browser or scan the QR code. Once connected, you are good to go. The UI is very simple. So a great app. The next one here is the Google Handwriting Input. This is an official app from Google that lets you type with gestures. I have included this app because this is by far the best keyboard to type with gestures as the handwriting recognition is amazing. So here is the interface. Here we have word suggestions and option for voice input. You can type with gestures from here and while typing, you can slide left to erase. Lower below, you have options to undo, online recognition and swap keyboards, which is a very nice add-on as you can swap between the default keyboard and this keyboard. So a good keyboard app as it provides a unique way to use your keyboard with great gesture recognition. The next one here is the Wave Launcher. With this app, you can access your favorite applications with ease as you can just make a swipe and access this launcher. And this launcher can run on top of any other launcher. After installation, you can add up to 12 apps, shortcuts, widgets or plugins. Once that's done, all you have to do is swipe from the bottom left corner of the screen and there you have it. This launcher will work on any apps or games as well as works with both the portrait and the landscape mode. Back to the app, you can edit your wave to add app shortcuts or folders. From edit colors, you can customize the color of the wave. You can calibrate your trigger area. And from settings, you can get options to choose your language. Choose the number of apps on your wave. Notification settings, wave settings and many more. Also, on your notification panel, you get a notification to quickly launch the app. So great app for multitasking as well as accessing your favorite apps quickly. The next one here is the photo math. This app helps to solve math problems simply by using the phone's camera. As you can see, we have a camera interface. We just need to keep the calculation on the focused area or adjust the focus manually. And there you see. It solves the problem and give you the answer. Also, you can tap here to see the steps for that calculation. This app works best on the printed documents and displays. You can slide from the bottom to bring up the history and see the steps of that calculations. 
so a unique application that can come handy at times. The next one here is the Photoshop. This is a photo editing app with lots of editing tools. Under edit, you have all the normal tools like crop, contrast, brightness, HD boost that is to enhance the details and colors. Then you have transform, color splash that is you can color any specific area only as you can see, automatic white balance, adjust focus, exposure, tones and many more. Next we have filters. You get a bunch of filters to choose from. Then we have effects like sketch, color sketch. Next we have overlay. Overlay is to add another image or effect on top of the default image. You also have got options to add frames, stickers and quotes. From the top, you can customize the brush tools as well as shuffle effects which will randomly auto edit the picture. Another cool thing about this app is that you also get its own store from where you can download different filters, camera effects, frames, overlays and so on. So great photo editing app with a lot of options to edit your pictures. The next one here is the phonograph. This is a very minimalistic music app. You get all your regular music controls so nothing specific with that but since this app is inspired from the material design, the animations are quite eye soothing. From the settings menu, you can choose your default page when you start this app, as well as customize the UI, from colors to transparency and so on. You also get a simple widget with regular music controls, so a simple to use music player. The next one here is the Moon Plus Reader. This is a great ebook app. Over here, you get all your ebooks, and from here, you can jump to your last reading. At the top, you have options to search, filter, import books, or open a random book. You have the slider menu to go to yourself, that is, your downloaded books, view ebooks from your stories, download more ebooks from the internet, and view your statistics. You also have the option to change to night theme, which is really great for reading ebooks at night as you will not be irritated with the bright display. While reading ebooks, you can scroll between the pages or tap left or right to go to next or previous page. You can tap in between for options to rotate the screen, change themes, auto scrolling, bookmarks, and chapters. So, guys, with this app, we get a very interactive UI to read ebooks. The next one here is the Minima Live Wallpaper. This is a live wallpaper app, but what makes this live wallpaper special is that you get live wallpapers inspired from the material design. From settings, you can choose from a bunch of wallpapers, and all these wallpapers are not free. You need to get the pro version for it. But nevertheless, you get enough wallpapers for free. Select the one you like, and you can check the animations by tilting your device. Also, you get the options to customize the colors of your wallpapers, choose tilt and touch effects, and in case if you want to save any of these wallpaper as a normal wallpaper, you can do that as well. So a simple live wallpaper application with a lot of functionality. The last one for today's episode is the Flood. This is a torrent client for your Android device. It provides desktop class features right on your mobile device. So here you have all your running torrents, then you have queued and finished. You can also search for torrents from the search option which uses the Google search. So it's really nice as you can download the torrent file right from the app itself. You can also add your torrent files that's on your storage from this plus icon. From options, you can pause or resume your downloads, manage your queue, view your status, and from settings, you can manage your storage, bandwidth, and so on. So you have got all the necessary tools that are available with the desktop version of a torrent client. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you found it useful. Stay tuned for more and I will catch you guys in the next one.